So I'm creating a short tutorial on how to install FreeNAS with a single hard drive and how to use that hard drive to share your data partitions. So first I'll create a VM with uh, a small 4GB drive since it will be faster to format that we'll use for the FreeNAS installation and also to share the data. So I'll uh, select, I'll install the operating system later. Click on Next, select FreeBSD. Change this to 64-bit if you're using the 64-bit ISO. So, but we're using the x86 ISO, so I'll leave it at FreeBSD. Click on Next, give it a name. I'll name this machine FreeNAS. Okay, it already exists, so I'll create another one, FreeNAS test. Click on Next. Number of processors, you can leave it at one. Uh, I'll just give it two cores. Give it around 512 memory in my test. Use bridge networking so I can have a separate IP address for my uh, FreeNAS test box. Let's say logic recommended, I'll leave it as default. We'll create a new virtual desk. ID recommended. Uh, we'll give this a uh, default of 4 gigs and allocate all this space now. Click on next, freenest test.vmdk. So we'll, uh, select the defaults and click on next. Customize hardware. So here we'll go and change the optical drive to use the ISO image that we downloaded from FreeNAS. Uh, select the live CD. Connected power on should be checked on so it can boot from the live CD for the initial installation. Click on OK. Finish. Let it create the virtual desk. We'll get back here once the virtual desk is created. Alright, it's almost complete. Okay, now I'll power on the virtual machine. That's FreeNAS, uh, the live CD booting from the ISO image. Right, I'll select the default boot that is one. All right, so we'll select um, number nine, install, upgrade to hard drive, flash device, etc. So we'll select nine here. Install full OS on hard drive with the data partition for our shares and the swap partition. So we'll select number three, hit OK. So what this will do is uh, it will create a master boot record partition one using UFS for the OS and another MBR for the UFS for data and the third partition for the swap so we'll select the default options click on OK uh, CD DVD drive is our uh, virtual ISO drive so we'll select that OK this is our only hard drive which is the 4 gig uh, virtual drive I had created earlier so we'll select that and hit OK We'll leave this at 380 MB for the default OS. Do you want to add a swap partition? We'll select yes. Leave it at 319 megs on default. Hit OK. 
it's creating all the partitions now so if you look at this it says um, to use the data partition we need to add the disk ad0 on the disk management page add the mount point on the disk mount point management page use the following parameters disk ad0 partition 2 partition type mbr file system ufs so that's what we will select we'll uh, press enter to continue and exit from the installer menu we'll set a LAN IP interface select num number one assign interface this is our virtual NIC so I'll select that since I don't have any other NICs I'll finish and exit configuration yes we'll set the IP address on the interface so select two do you want to use DHCP no I'll select any IP. You can choose whatever IP you like. Uh, I'll just select this. It's easy to remember. Uh, go with that. I'm using a 24-bit mask. So I'll select the default. IP address default gateway is the internal IP of your router. And it's the same IP for your DNS also. Do you want to add IPv6? We'll select now since I don't have IPv6 configured at this point. Okay, you can now access the web GUI using the following URL. So I will do this. I'll shut down so I can remove the live CD. I'll select option 8 and shut down the system. I'll go to edit virtual machine settings. I'll remove the ISO image, select use physical drive, uh, uncheck connected power on since I don't have anything in the drive that I want to use for this installation. Hit OK. Power on the virtual machine. Let it boot with default options. All right, so now it says my IPv address is .250. It did not save it, so I'll go ahead and set the interface. That's my only interface. It's done. Set the IP. I selected DHCP by mistake, we'll go back and set a static IP. <coughs> we'll press and we'll continue. Now the system is available at I mean the web GUI is available at 192.168.1.192 so we'll open up a browser default username is admin, password is free NAS
make sure uh, the time is correct so we'll go to this general option under system tab we'll select GMT minus 6 for central time select today's date hit save so now we'll uh, assign the disk under disk management click on add select the virtual drive will give a little description VMware virtual HDD transfer mode auto hard disk will leave everything at default pre-formatted file system will select UFS click on add apply changes it's online right now We'll go to this mount point, click on add, select the drive, partition type will select MBI partition, partition number 2 and file system is UFS, we'll leave it as default, give it a mount point name, so we'll give it a home share mount as my mount space name. Uh, description free NAS only drive home share mount. I'll leave the permissions with default. You can uh, change it later if you want to play with restrictions and stuff, but um, I'll leave this at the default values. Click on add, click on apply changes. Okay, now the status is okay, it's available. Now I'll create a uh, SIFS service. So we'll go to SIFS SMB Samba uh, menu and we'll click on this little checkbox to enable it. We'll leave the authentication at anonymous right now. NetBias name we'll leave at the default. Make sure your workgroup name matches uh, the workgroup name of your Windows clients. Description you can leave it as default. Um, I'll leave everything else as default and click on save and restart. Alright, now I'll go to shares. We'll add a share, that's the data partition on the uh, FreeNAS installation hard drive, which also includes the data partition. So, we'll clear on that. Give it a name Home Share My FreeNAS Share select the path so we'll select the mount point over here click on ok click on add so it says uh, browsable yes we'll click on apply changes all right now we'll see if we can access our share so i'll go to white white 168 one all right, so my home share has uh, shown up over here. I can create some folders. Test folder. I can um, make sure I can delete it. All right. All right, that concludes the tutorial on how to install FreeNAS on one hard drive and also use that drive for your data storage.